Hello, hello again, fellow Bricksters, and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Unboxing! This is a fairly big package, so that is why I am excited to open this one up. I received this a few weeks ago and I've already sanitized it. However, I'm showing you that we should always spray with alcohol and also spray your hands with alcohol before you even touch anything that comes from outside. Alright, and now that it's dried already, we can now open the package. So I'm using the scissors and safety first guys. If you are not used to using the scissors, please ask your big brother or sister to do this for you or even ask your parents to do this for you. So let's start opening this package. I'm actually carefully cutting through this side so that if ever there are small parts within the package, I won't be destroying them or I won't be cutting through them. During these times, it's really really hard for us to avoid ordering through online because um, first of all, there aren't any stalls open here in the Philippines that would sell these types of toys and number two, it's really dangerous to go outside without any protection. And now that the package is open, let's spray some more alcohol. What is that Ashley? A sponsor for alcohol? <laughs> oh how I would love to have a sponsor, don't we Asher? But no, we don't have a sponsor yet but hey, shout out for potential sponsors, Extinct Bricks here! Anyway, so we have the package open and we have here one piece or one figure for a big triceratops. Yay! So before we even touch it, let's spray some more alcohol again. And then let's open the package. First, let's see if what's that, Moira? That is correct, Moira. Triceratops means three horn face lizard. Oh, I should be saying something. Ceratops family? Of course, you're correct. <laughs> oh, don't fight over this uh, toy. Both of you, my babies, are really good at this. Alright, so the Triceratops is free. Yeah! So, let's spray again with alcohol. You can never be too safe. Let's spray again on my hands before I touch this uh, figure. And now it is time for us to do a separate. So for this particular figure, let's uh, line them up. So we have... Let's count it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces. Now let's start with the head. And as Moira mentioned, there are actually three horns to this creature. One shorter on the nose and then two longer horns on each brows. The consistency of the beak as well as the horns are very much different to that of the Lego Triceratops which I have here. The Lego Triceratops will have a rubbery feel to it and you can actually bend it a little bit like so. Unlike this um, horn on the big Triceratops, it's really quite hard actually. But that's okay, other than that, um, this figure will have really good um, printing to it and placement of these prints as well as the eyes are actually symmetrical. <laughs> and putting the Lego Triceratops aside and going back to the figure. Oh wait, look! Some of the pieces on the uh, forelet actually was uh, left on the uh, Triceratops body so let's just pull it off and let's bring it back on this particular piece. Then we can proceed with the assembly. Let's attach the head to the body. So unlike the Lego Triceratops, there is a little bit of restrictions in terms of the movements for this particular uh, figure. But that's okay because I won't be using it as a certain option anyway and will be probably using it as one of my sauropods probably. Alright, so let's connect the right for uh, leg and then connect the um, hind legs. Let's start with the left one. Oops. <laughs> oh my god, let's um, switch it with the other one. So this is the right leg. It goes there. So, And then let's put on the uh, left leg. Once that is snugly fit, we can put on the tail now. So as I say with the head, uh, this actually has also some limitations in terms of movement, but that's okay. Alright, so this is the completed Triceratops YG figure. 
let's take a look at it closer so the bottom of the legs will actually have this type of um, uh, stud uh, receptors or uh, receivers and then the movement of the tail will be uh, twistable like this and uh, moves up and down but uh, limited uh, same as that of the head articulation wise even though there is limited movements in the up and down motion the head can be twisted like so the uh, legs can also um, look like uh, this like you can put it in a running position actually and you can see that there are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20 studs on the back. So, wow, that's really wide. Just imagine the variety of other costumes that I can do with this one. I can actually do a large marine reptile or a sauropod maybe. So, just take a look at it. Um, comparing the triceratops here with this uh, large triceratops figure, you can see that the length is very much different. So, definitely the large triceratops will be longer as well as uh, wider uh, when you take a look at it from the top. Again, a number of different pictures we can actually build or custom from this uh, Triceratops figure. But first, before we end this video, I would like to show you one of the um, figures that I've made before that is actually uh, uses this Triceratops as one of its base figures. So this is my custom Lego Jurassic World Apatosaurus. Now for this apatosaurus, you can see that I have made oops, <laughs> several modifications to it. Let's just uh, put out the head first. So you can see that the number of studs are actually the same. But I widened it uh, a bit so that it will be longer and a bit more chunkier than the figure it came from. So that's my apatosaurus from before. So I do plan on making several more of these. Maybe another sauropod for this one but let me know of your comments or your suggestions on other customs that we can make out of this one i actually had two other spare large triceratops figures and i'm excited to start on them soon but let's rate this one first i'm gonna rate it an 8 out of 10 let me know if you agree guys and that about ends our unboxing video i'll see you next time also, our babies Usher and Moira has their own blog now, The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please watch their videos and subscribe to their channel as well. Thanks for the support everyone! Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here in YouTube. And as we always would say, let your inner dino brain roar!